Hi lovelies, Kari Busana to my YouTube channel. My name is Dainis Miner. Thank you so much for joining us if you're new here. If you're a returning viewer, Asante, sana sana sana. And I've been trying to think when to start this vlog. I think I wanted to start vlogging like two or three days ago. Today is um, the 19th of September. It is Thursday at 5 p.m. I am in the office. Actually, I'm in the boardroom. And because I've been like, oh, I'm going to start this vlog, I'm going to start this vlog. Let's just get into it from here. Doing a bit of reading. This is nothing confidential. It's just case law. So what usually happens is um, every couple of weeks we have an advocate meeting where we discuss a case. This is the case we are discussing. Kampala International versus Housing Finance. I've just read a bit of it. You can see my notes. And you know, it's something to do with arbitration and that's why I'm very excited for it. The meeting is coming up tomorrow. This is my arbitration workbook um, because I did my ADR course with the Chartered Institute and one of the documents I'm reading is the Arbitration Act. So if you're practicing in arbitration, this is the act that we use. We use it all through. So let me just put you guys down, have a little time lapse as I read as much as I can. Then I will catch you guys later. We're done. Mm, this was a good one like arbitration i definitely recommend you read it short and sweet i actually agree with the supreme court on this one so now it's about 606 i think i'm going to leave and head to the gym so let's go Good morning guys it is friday the 20th fun fact tomorrow is my birthday so i'm very excited this is literally the eve of my birthday um i came home yesterday just tidied up I, I didn't even cook i was tired after the gym but now i want to head to the office so it looks chilly which is weird because this weather has been very weird like you'll have lows of 14 highs of 27 so it becomes very difficult to dress but today is casual friday so let me quickly show you the outfit of the day before um we head out this is our outfit of the day um just top jeans and some brogues i'm going to add a sweater because i already told you that the weather is a bit crazy so this is from my book club i am a member of nyako book club so it's more of like a cropped hoodie so that's what we're going to wear these pants are a bit big so please just excuse how they look over here um yeah the gym is gymming so without further ado let's go to work
hi it's at the end of the day so now i'm about to go to the gym i'm really happy because like my birthday presents are started coming in my flowers and my chocolate they're down here i'll just put a cut away for you guys to see so i'm excited to go to the gym and then um just go home have a nice quiet night put my flowers in the vase and then um yeah i have an early morning tomorrow because i have a photo shoot for my birthday and then my friends have put together a little something so i need to be up quite early to go to town get my makeup done and get my photos taken and then proceed to the event which as of now i just know it's happening i don't know what it is so i'm a bit excited so yeah let's go to the gym and then go home that's my guy excuse it in the house Nima Choco my workout was good 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 um, we did chest arms and core yeah that was a workout of the day so I'm just gonna put you guys on a tripod I'm literally gonna put my flowers in a base put some plant food and then I'll end that part of the vlog there then I will just go shower and get ready for bed and then I will see you guys later birthday morning um, so yeah I am on the road heading to town um, actually not on the road I'm in traffic so I am going to have a very busy morning I really don't know how much I'll be able to vlog but I will try and yeah Hello. Hello. Really nice. Yeah. Okay, I, I like how it looks. Yeah, it's really nice. Hello. Hello. Thursday. The last time we spoke was on Saturday morning for my birthday. So at this point, you've already seen, you know, the few photos from the photo shoot. And where we went to have lunch later on, we had a blast in terms of just like going out and stuff. So it was really, really fun. From the gym, I want to have an easy evening because this week has been a bit busy. I um, like to do, you know, court is from vacation, meaning matters are back to being hectic. So I'm doing a lot of court matters, and then I even had like a site visit today for one of the clients. Um, 
I want to do my finances right now. I don't know if you guys do your finances, but ever since I read Smart Money Woman, um, I've been tracking my spending and just trying to see how best to manage my money. Um, particularly also like the CFA because of moving and stuff. I also want to catch up with Emily in Paris, maybe fold some laundry, just you know the boring stuff. Like it's exciting, but then it's boring stuff, which is like really hard to do. Um, what else? I ah actually, guys, I have never listened to audiobooks, but TikTok put me on this um audiobook called. It's actually based on a book called Women Who Run with the Wolves, and I had just seen an excerpt on TikTok, and I've been listening to it. And my goodness, it's available on YouTube. It is free of charge. I will even tag it down below my god guys like if you're in that place in your journey where you want to connect to your divinely feminine self not with the cliches of do this or do that but in a very in-depth kind of storytelling way i totally recommend you check it out on the description down below it's not sponsored it's just something i'm doing um so it's an audiobook i'm listening to and it's challenged so many beliefs so yes guys that is all for tonight i was like if i don't pick up the camera today i'm really going to slap on vlogging um i think i'm gonna have some chocolates part of my birthday presents now that we were talking about birthday presents i remember something else i'll be doing i will also be putting together a shura clinic which will flip you guys over my, birth my birthday presents together so this watch is from one of my close friends sylvia um i have my first ever denry bag from my colleague and my friend Samantha. Um, Masara came back from Mzansi and she got me like a hand cream and then she got me like a collection of earrings. Like guys, hey, I'm even thinking maybe it's time to get that second piercing. And then in this box is the shirat that we want to put together. So I think I can just put all this in the bag. Um, yeah, Aki, okay, look guys, I keep forgetting that when you're vlogging, you just have one hand anyway. Let me try and put a time lapse and put this shoe up together. We see how far we can go. Camera stopped recording at some point, but this is how it looks. Let me tell you guys, I am so grateful I did puzzles as a young kid. So when you see the videos online, this looks like a what's it called? Like a um, like a metallic thing. So these are the metallic parts. These are the metallic parts like this rods and then this is like a paper thing and then it's very nice and cute for like an entry because i wanted it for like an entryway so you can see how it looks so like i can just put like shoes here and just you know very nice and cute you don't need like too much pressure then maybe in future i'll get like a bigger one that's it for tonight you guys everything else i will do off camera so yes i hope you're enjoying the vlog if you are please comment down below and i will see you guys tomorrow bye morning you guys it is saturday i did not vlog yesterday because um nothing much is happening in the office and um then i went shopping and already we did a you know a shopping haul in the last vlog so if you didn't see it you can go check the previous video so i just felt like there's no point in really vlogging much of anything that happened yesterday so today hey today's an event packed day considering uh, where does my nini look okay fine it's fine considering last weekend was also a lot of activity because of my birthday the amount of activity i have this weekend is also hmm. anyway so this is the plan i'm going to the office quarter four is starting next week and my court diary looks insane so i just have some stuff i need to tidy up so that by the time i'm going to work on monday things are good so i'm going to the office then i'm meeting for my with my brother who is on weekend out or I don't know what they were called during our days half term i think half term in our days but this is like the bush they call it weekend out so i'm gonna meet up with him go watch um deadpool versus wolverine because in my big age i am watching it this late then after that my friend masara is in the rugby circles so um there's a game today the mashuja let me not misquote that i'll put the poster somewhere but it's Kenya versus Uganda, and I'm just gonna have a really nice weekend, you guys. <laughs> anyway, I'm excited. I'm done getting rest. I need to go to the office, meet up with my brother, and get the day started. 
I will vlog as much as I can. But for now, outfit of the day, sun is out. We're looking cute here in a ponytail. We love the volume. Let me flip you guys over and show you. Here we are, cute ponytail, bodysuit, shorts, fanny pack, because if you've been to any of these games and you know you need to put your thing somewhere, um, I'm gonna wear sneakers, so don't worry about that. Yeah, and then as usual, some sunnies. Um, I got these sunnies from this a shop in Bihi Towers. I don't know what, I can't remember what it's called. It's not blend sunnies, but somewhere in Bihi. I will try and get them and I will link them down below. But yeah, it's not our hot. Well, well. Okay, let's go. Hi. 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 Oh, anyway, we're leaving the office and then we're heading. Plans have changed a bit. We need to go to MP Shop. Hold on, okay, now I was taking a video, now let me take a photo. Ule, no, we're going in. We're the only ones. The weather has decided. Hello, hello, my loves. How are you? I know I haven't vlogged since Sunday when I was at the orchestra. And kusema tu kweli quarter four imeanza na fujo. It is so crazy in the office right now. Like even for the past couple of days, like leading up to today, today Thursday, um, have been mad. Like work is crazy. But today we had something different. I had one matter in court in the morning, which my colleague helped me handle because we were having privilege interviews. And I feel like I already did a video before. If you didn't see it, I'll link it up here. But I just feel the need to quickly comment on privilege interviews. Now, if you're an OG in this channel, then you know we really talk about the process of being um, at the Kenya School of Law and transitioning to work and looking for work, that whole process, there's so many videos I've done on that. But now that I'm on the other side, Mongoli Nani, but now that I'm on the other side, and um, now I am at the point where I sit as the interviewer, and it is so crazy. Like, like now that I know what I know, I feel like just you guys should know. So very quickly, the first thing is, 
most interviewees will not go beyond what you put in your CV or your cover letter. And maybe it's just a thing about our firm, but we've read your application. No one is trying to frustrate you. Whatever you have put in your CV or in your cover letter is where the questions are going to come from. If there is a departure from that, it's probably because the conversation has led that way. So please know your CV, know your cover letter. If you said you wrote a dissertation on a certain thing, you bragged about it in your CV, we can't ask you questions about that dissertation and you don't know anything about it. Okay? If you say that you worked somewhere and you worked with a group, Mkono Mechoka, and you worked with a certain group of people who were vulnerable, or you know, just anyone who could follow any class of law that any legal questions can arise, expect questions. That is the first thing. We will ask you what is in your application, we'll ask you what is in your CV. Second thing, guys, please, it is an interview. So as much as we are interviewing you to come to the firm, you're also interviewing us as an employer. So please, when you're interviewing us, like when you're coming to the firm, know about the firm. Who is the firm? Who are the partners at the firm? Who are the associates? Any landmark cases at the very least. And I think I said this in the other video, go through the firm's website, familiarize yourself, know who the firm is about, do not slack on that because today at the interview people were coming in and they were like we were asking them do you know the partners at the farm do you know any associates at the farm do you know the values of the farm do you know the department in the farm guys these are things that are just free marks just those are questions that you can thrive on next please know the law like you have been in kenya school of law for months now as you would practice for orals, practice for an interview because the panel is multifaceted. It has a number of lawyers and these lawyers will ask you questions in different areas. So my best tip, prepare for the interview as you would for orals. From current issues, civil procedure, commercial, criminal, um, legal practice management, all of that. Prepare adequately. But if the panel asks you what area of law would you want us to ask you questions on, guys that is your time to shine that is a time that you say the area where the law is like this like you can say in your sleep don't give us an area where you say commercial law and then i ask you about mergers and acquisitions and your fumbling or i ask you about the company's act and your fumbling just talk about an area where you know and it's so important to just come with the knowledge of the law next and probably last guys please also practice your soft skills. You're going to come to an organization where you work with people. You're going to come to an organization where in as much as we practice law, we are human beings. So you also have to check your soft skills. So you'll probably be asked questions with reference to teamwork, how to handle conflict, how to handle difficult situations, but they may be in a scenario question. So it's up to you to fish that out and to make sure that you thrive in that question. I hope this helps you. If you ever have an interview coming up, if you have a PPLG interview coming up, I wish you all the very, very best. Tomorrow, we're going to go do those interviews again. So we'll see how that goes. Hopefully, quarter four slows down. But if it doesn't, um, I will try and vlog as much as possible. Thank you for watching so far. Bye. Good morning. It is Friday. I'm at the parking lot just about to head to the office. And it just hit me. There is one thing I forgot to mention yesterday when you're dealing with interviews. So, um... It'll sound very obvious, but please lean into your personality. You don't have to be someone that you're not doing an interview. If you're soft-spoken, please lean into that. If you are a personality and you're dynamic and you're vibrant, please don't try to be something that you're not. Like, it is said so much, but let me tell you, yesterday, like, I think I saw soft feminine energy in power. And I saw women who were so soft spoken who if you didn't pay attention you would dismiss them but my god they were some of like the top ranking people in my score sheet so please guys make sure you lean into who you are lean into your personality lean into the god given innate gifts that you have and it will just come out yeah so let's get into the day Morning, you guys it is sunday i have been vlogging for what feels like three weeks now 
and the time has come to end this vlog obviously i am in the middle of editing it i can already see it at 24 minutes so this is basically an outro but i'll add one more thing for those of you who are in this interview season please do not um when you're not sure about something it is an acceptable answer to say i am not sure i cannot recall at this moment please allow me to look at that later as opposed to misquoting a provision or a position in law it is respectful of the people who are before you because they're more knowledgeable than you they understand these things better so you are better off saying you don't know you can't recall as opposed to misstating the position no one is going to beat you <laughs> so if at that moment there's a thing that you don't know that one thing will not entirely frustrate the work that you've done before so it's allowed it's allowed to say you can't recall or you don't know i really hope that this you know sneak peeks of what you should consider in an interview are helpful i know i have not done just a sit down video where we talk about the law so in case you want to hear anything please let me know but also if you like this format where i just share with you in the course of a vlog also let me know so before this video goes into the realm of 30 minutes thank you so much for watching if you've gotten here i truly appreciate you thank you also so much for watching the other vlogs i've seen i think at the time i checked it was like at 600 views and i'm so grateful please share this page with anyone who you think would benefit from it it really keeps me going um please comment down below it makes me feel like i'm not just talking into my phone um but also thank you to all the people who have been telling me i'm doing a good job thank you sylvia thank you jane thank you for being friends to me who have really supported me and yes allow me to end the vlog here don't forget to be kind to one another but also to yourself love you guys bye